How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to preserve your iPhone battery life. Um, a lot of times you might go on like an outing or you might be out all day away from a charger and uh, if you notice your battery life can die very quickly uh, or it can decrease very fast. There was one time I went to Six Flags and I kept running this app to check the ride times and I kept playing games and literally within an hour and a half my battery had jumped down to 30%. And so um, I want to show you five tips, five things you can do to uh, preserve your battery life for a long trip or a long day. Okay, so here's the first thing we're going to do. Go to your settings. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is you want to turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth okay so notice I went to settings and went to Wi-Fi turn off your Wi-Fi and you want to come down to general and you want to turn off Bluetooth okay and that's already off those are two things that um, they will con constantly search for a Bluetooth signal or a Wi-Fi signal if you do not turn it off so that's the first step make sure those two are turned off that'll really help to uh, keep your battery life intact the second thing you want to do is you want to go down to so we're still in settings, go to mail, and come all the way down here. Okay. And what you want to do is go to fetch new data. And first thing you want to do is you want to turn push notifications off because what push does is constantly checking for new emails. So you don't want that to be on because it's constantly checking the uh, network, trying to pull emails. Second thing you want to do is set your fetch to manually, okay? And so what it'll do is your phone will only look for new emails when you open the, the mail app, okay? This will also really help your battery life. And even it says it right here, the schedule below is used when push is off or applications which do not support push for better battery life fetch less frequently. So you want to just put it on manual. So you'll pretty much tell it stop fetching for data until I tell you to. Okay. So that's the second step. The third step here is uh, you want to come back up here, go to uh, general again, and then go to network and you want to turn off 3G. See where it says enable 3G? Turn that off. Okay. Keep your cellular data on because um, that's pretty much going to allow you to continue to check, you know, for phone calls and, and text messages and all that stuff. So uh, don't turn that off. Just turn off your 3G or maybe if you have a 4G, well, no 4G's out yet. So you probably only have 3G. Turn this off and this will, um, again, really help that battery life okay so once that's off you're gonna be good that's step three and you'll see a little E up here and that stands for edge that was like the network that AT&T used before 3G was up okay so that's step three the fourth step is go back to uh, the original screen of settings and you wanna go to brightness and turn your brightness down usually mine is all the way up but I'm gonna turn mine down to about here and here's the thing too if you're somewhere where you're not if you're not using your phone a lot then you definitely want to adjust the brightness to be low because if you're not using it then why does the brightness have to be up you know even if your phone is asleep when you turn it on you know it'll still you know whenever it's on it'll be pulling more juice because the screen is brighter so your brightness has a big effect on that as well and um so dim that down as far as you can or dim it totally down, you know. Well, my camera moved a little bit here. And so the last step, and this is simple, you probably already do this. Um, you want to check to make sure you don't have a lot of apps open. You're going to double click on the home button. My phone's a little messed up here. My home button is kind of going out. There we go. So check to make sure you don't have a lot of apps open because this is a, the, another thing that will pretty much kill your battery life is these apps are just sitting open until you turn them off. So hold down on the app and then just start tapping and start just closing them out. The less apps you have open, the more battery life you will save. And you guys, I'm, I'm being so truthful here. I actually went to Six Flags after that first time I told you about 
and this time I said it's not gonna happen to me again. So I did. I made all these adjustments, and my battery lasted the whole day. I got to, I got at Six Flags at around 10:30, and I stayed there until 8 o'clock, and I had 30% battery life left. I kid you not, because I adjusted all these settings to make sure that my battery would last. Okay, I had no charger and I had no way to plug up, so. These are five key steps that are going to help to, to conserve your battery life when you will not have access to a charger. Okay? So I hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and have a good one.